quick axle advanced fitting video, Kayla is here to help me. First thing we'll do is let the waist Velcro out a little bit, tagging it back so we get some room to get her into the vest. Open the latches and here we go. The first one you go for is the bottom latch plus the over centers lever, then the top latch. This vest is now obviously too long for her so I'll open the rod clamp front, rod clamp back and I'll slug it down on her till it's touching her shoulders. Now Emma can you lift a leg as if you're going to climb stairs? No, it's still too long. So we're going to take it down, front, take it down back and then just check that these pads are going to rest on her pelvic bones. Now the top of her pelvic bones are just here which means they're in the middle of the pad. This is good. You want the weight going into your bones. Right, now I'm going to tighten up the waist. Tighten it up just as much as you like, the feel of it, side by side. And then you want to check that the rods are centered on the back. I see here that they're a little bit off to one side, so I'll relax the Velcro this side a little bit. I'll take the Velcro in this side a little bit. And now the rods are centered on the back, so we're good to go. Okay, now I'm going to put it on me so you see how to adjust it for different sizes. Thank you. Come on. Okay, here we go. First, bottom latch, then the top latch. So we can see that this is, we can immediately see this is way too small for me. The top of my pelvic bones are here, you know, so I want these pads to come down and rest on them. So I can open up the latches, front and back, and I slide it down until these pads are on the pelvic bones, perfectly resting on them, yeah? And I can still climb stairs. Good. Take it in a little bit at the back. I like to have a little bit of weight on my shoulder, so I bring it down. You just put it wherever feels comfortable. Then I'll tighten up the Velcro side by side. And then lastly, I want to check to see that my back is in the center of the rods. So it is, it's perfect, great. Next thing, put some load into the vest. Attach the arm. And hold whatever rig you're using right at arm's length from your body. Now it's really important that the rear rods do not touch your back. Only the top pad should touch your back. If those rods are touching your back, what you want to do is insert a booster pad just to lift them clear of your back. If you don't need the booster pad, great, work without it. Then when you bring the load back close to your body, you should really feel that the weight is going into these bones here. Okay, good. Now I'm going to show you some adjustments that you can make to the vest so that it fits a little better. Okay, if the shoulders are too close to your neck or they're too wide, what you can do is, with Allen keys, yeah, when you're wearing the vest, you get someone to open, relax these two Allen screws here on each side and these two here, yeah? And now what you can do is you can move, you can move the shoulder straps inward and outward to fit you. And then you simply tighten the whole thing down as you're wearing it, yeah? And then the shoulder straps should be tight enough so that the rods are pretty much vertical, but it leaves you room to breathe in and out, yeah? Without the rods squeezing your rib cage. Okay, the very last thing you do, yeah? is just seat this latch. It's very important that this latch go in and out very easily, so you just slacken it off until it's working correctly, and then you slowly tighten it down, yeah? Bit by bit, releasing it every now and then to make sure that you're not locking in position, yeah? Until this latch is just ready to go in, no problem at all. So, now, it is important that these pads go into the pelvic bones and not into the abdomen. If you're very wide at the waist, you may have the problem that they miss the bones because they're too much in the middle. So, in that case, this is what you do. You simply take these pads, yeah, and move them outboard, yeah? 
And what you're doing is you're moving them into a position where instead of missing this bone and going into your belly, they're actually hitting the bone. Yeah? So you find that position. If you find that the waist strap is not long enough for you, then you remove the rear pads. And you do this from at both sides. Now here you'll notice a little screw. And this screw is in the inboard position. And in the inboard position, it's restraining the waist strap from getting to its largest size. So, to make it bigger, you take out this screw, yeah, including the little backing part. And what this does is it allows the waistband to reach its full extension. So, you take the screw again, yeah, and you put it in to the outboard position. So you move it from here to here. And now the waistband gets really big. And that's it. Have fun. If you have any questions, send me an email.